We're talking Schengen visas. Well, fake Schengen visa agencies target UAE residents. Of course, you guys know it's travel season, and while everyone, including me, wants to travel, apply for visas, and so on, some residents have been a target of fake Schengen visas agencies. And a lot of that, a, rep- uh, a representative at BSF Global urges t- uh, travelers to beware of uh, fr- fraudulent, uh, sorry, third party entities. Pausing as VFS, global staff or partners who offer appointments or assured visas for free. So take note, if you're planning that getaway, be vigilant. Scammers are everywhere. With the demand for Schengen visas soaring during peak times, these fake agencies are taking advantage of your heart or dirhams. While summer and winter traditionally were the peak travel periods, now what we're seeing in the last two years is consistent travel demand year round. Well, you guys, of course, according to a global VSF global spokesperson, he said that, you know what, he is urging people not to actually uh, 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 trust anyone and to actually visit the actual website for a uh, destination for the destin- of destination of the country and to understand the required category documents and rules to prepare for their applications. And of course, a Appointments are released and reflect in real time and the website. So just don't trust anyone who tells you that, hey, we are a VFS visa agency and we're going to help you get a Schengen visa because you might get scammed, which which was the case with a lot of uh, resonance at this point. Yeah, right. It's the conversation that just keeps on tumbling this entire summer because we know that loads of you have a lot of wait times. And then what it looks like, these agencies are able to get the bookings. That's the kind of mm-hmm. perception. So people are going into these agencies. However, it's some of the agencies are actually scam websites. Uh, some of the comments that have come through um, asking why the tourism companies uh, Uh, allowed to get these places. Someone said they lost 9,000 dirham with one tourism company. That could have been a scam. That's what we're talking yes. about. So the key point uh, direct from the horse's mouth is take care when choosing. And what they say is do well in advance, um, go on to the specific country website and apply there and just give yourself a lot of time because as they said, it is a consistent travel period. We, there's no more ebbs and flows. It's just a consistent, we're busy all the time. Uh, so try and plan as much uh, in advance as you can, which we know is kind of frustrating to hear, but it that's is, the message. Yes. I agree with you. And by the way, it's very easy to trust those agencies because when you want to travel and you book your leave and so on, you go like, oh my God, I can trust agencies. and as well because the fact that you live in the UAE so it's very easy to be like yeah I live in in Dubai it's very easy it would never have that um, fake but you guys you know like scam has been everywhere you know we've seen scam in different forms whether it's through your email whether it's through your phone whether it's um, as well like when you want to buy something online you guys can get scammed so when we say stay vigilant not only (laughs) when you are like receiving emails or uh, getting a ticket or so on but as well when you are applying for visas because visas are very can be very tricky at that point and the person might just like run away and (laughs) <laughs> you might not get your money back. Yeah, really important. Um, stay vigilant. We're going to jump.